Right, so in today's episode, we're going to be talking about two really important things. Trained psychology and discipline. Now, a lot of these things are going to overlap. However, what I want to give you in this episode is some clarity on things that most traders are neglecting. You can see the rise of funding firms and funding challenges at the moment. This has almost become the new signal service where people are just running to the quickest fix they can possibly get, ignoring the big elephant in the room, which is their psychology. So what I want you to think about is this. If you aspire to be a consistent, profitable, successful trader, and you want a long career in this business, you need to learn how to think in the correct manner. You need to think like a successful trader. So we have to cover a few elements on that. So what I wanna first run by you is this. Most traders do not have a disciplined routine. So this is tip number one. The night before you go into the next day, think about what are the key things that you could be doing for the next day in the morning that is gonna set you up for a trading successful day. Could be 10 minutes of meditation, could be 10 minutes of journaling, 10 minutes of affirmation, could be cold exposure, could be breathing exercises. You have to have something. And to be a trader to think that you've got nothing is gonna be very difficult for you to sustain something longer term. Because where you're gonna get most of your success is not gonna be your trading strategy, it's not just going to be your mindset, it's gonna be your peak performance. And this is essentially your composure. This is going to be you learning how to regulate your emotions to push the button when you need to push the button and not just trade out of boredom or revenge trading and just doing things for the sake of it. We're gonna take a walk into the office. I'm gonna share with you some mindset tips that are gonna be super beneficial. So we've spoken about discipline in routines, but we haven't yet spoken about the discipline of your emotional state. Now we have a program called the Rewired Trader Program. Now within this, we go through the A to Z of how to think correctly like a profitable trader and essentially how to unwire all of the bad neuro pathways into how you're currently thinking from either growing up, society, all of the programming that you've had growing up that may not be serving you as a successful trader, that you get to unwire that and then rewire all of the good. So what I thought I'd do is I'll actually share a tip with you that's really practical, really useful from one of our modules, which is the flow zone. Now think about it like this. If you know that your consistency is gonna come from the level of composure and the decisions that you make, you wanna be cool, calm, and collected under pressure. I'm sure you'd all agree with that statement. However, how do you do that in a practical sense when most people are just not self-aware as to how they think? So the flow zone is essentially a scale. It's a score that you can do yourself to figure out where do you sit within that scale throughout the day? So you'll find if you're low on the score, just see it as simple right now without getting to the nitty gritty granular side of it. Imagine it from one to 10, 10 being the best. Where do you sit on that score? Throughout the day, I want you to think about it like this. Rate yourself from a scale of one to 10 on roughly where you think that you sit from how you feel, what you're thinking about, is it negative thoughts? Are you anxious? Whatever emotions that are coming to your head. Because you've got to understand this, if you're at more towards six, seven, eight, nine, ten, higher up in the scale, which means this is where you're more calm, composed, collected, you're more likely to make decisions out of logic and not emotion, well then that's when you're going to be the best version of you of trading, because you'll be able to make logical decisions versus emotional decisions. So imagine most of us, life happens, you might wake up, you might argue with your partner, you might get a flat tire, you might be stuck in traffic, lots of things happen, but when you're trading your way out of the nine to five, you're still going through these experiences. So what's the chances that you're being affected emotionally and then you're making those decisions emotionally due to these circumstances that you just can't really always avoid? So it's now about bringing the self-awareness to learn how to regulate those emotions. So now what you do every day, just two, every two or three hours just to assess it, you can write in your phone or just in a little journal, you wanna to begin to track how are you feeling on a scale of one to 10? and then you'll be pleasantly surprised. You're gonna find patterns within your behavior and you'll see, right, I've now journaled for the last seven days on my average score is a five. Okay, now we can work with that. You then ask yourself, if I was a five every day for 365 days, what's the chances that I'm still making a lot of emotional decisions that are not logical that is gonna push me further away from trading, further away from me hitting my assessment funded account, further away from me scaling up on funded accounts or private investment? So if you don't address the big elephant in the room with your mindset and your composure, you know you have to be in the best state of mind to trade well. And if you don't know how to get in the right state of mind, again, we go through all of this, reverse engineering this, helping you build an actual checklist that's tailored to you to get yourself in that zone. However, what this is gonna do, this tip, 
It's gonna at least help bring the self-awareness to you so you can realize how you are and what's happening. So let's say it was a five, for example. You could at least look at the week because you would have, or would have already had the discipline to plan the night before. So you've done the first tip that I've talked about. You then can actually see and track what's happening day to day. So you can see, right, why was it an average of five? Who did I speak to? Where am I going? What's the environment? You might not have realized that there's people around you that are influencing you in a negative way that you weren't even aware of. Maybe just because you're used to it, maybe because it's routine. However, if it doesn't serve you and now it's influencing you in a negative way, well then how are you gonna to progress to the next level of your trading? So what this tip is gonna do for you, give you an immense amount of self-awareness because then you have something to work with. The next step would be, of course, right, how can I build a system that's gonna raise my state? So listen, negative things happen, you can't always avoid it. But how do you take yourself from, let's say, a three, four, up to a six to a seven? So you can trust yourself with confidence that when you do see something on the charts, you're not doing it out of boredom, you're actually taking the trade that's logical, that meets the plan, that makes sense. That's the key part. If I was to sum up trading as a whole, it would be down to discipline and your level of composure in front of the charts. Many of you are great traders, you just don't know how to regulate your emotions because you wasn't taught it. I wasn't taught it, it took me years and years to figure it out, which is why we created these modules step by step to literally rewire the way that you think, to rewire it to a point where you can think like a consistent, profitable trader. Remember, mindset in trading is not the same as just mindset. It's very niche, there's specific things. For example, it's not normal for the average person to think in probabilities. You wouldn't go to cross the road and say, right, if I don't look left and right, you know, nine times out of 10, I won't get hit by a car. You're gonna look left and right. It's not normal to think probabilistically. So you have to train your way to think that. And there's certain little things and resources and tools that you can tap into. So these are just two really simple things. Any trader, beginner, intermediate, even advanced, You'll be surprised how many people get away with not doing all of these things to at a, a later stage, it comes back to haunt them. So you might be someone who's trying to scale up on funded accounts and you've probably got quite far just from being very technically good and having a reasonably good routine because you might be savvy enough to understand the charts. You will hit a ceiling at some point and it will be a slippery road. You're going to draw down and you'll be scratching your head why am I not moving forward? So then what do you do? You start searching for more knowledge, you start thinking it's the strategy, you start blaming everything, and the last person you're gonna blame is yourself. So if this can help you look in the mirror and go, right, I need to look internally, this is gonna help me stay disciplined, and, I'm, and now I've got a tip and a tool I can do to track my self-awareness, you're gonna be more self-aware, more of a conscious trader, and the more conscious you are, the better decisions you make. It's not rocket science, guys. Forget the gimmicks and all the BS. Do the simple things well, that's gonna serve you for a lifetime if you're really serious about a long-term trading career. For those of you that wanna take your trading to the next level, and you wanna really unwire some things in your past that are not serving you right now, and you have any inquiries, send us a message. We'll be happy to see if this fits for you, if this is actually going to help you. And then you can dig into all of the modules, everything that we've got available that's gonna help aid you on the next step of your trading career. And of course, we'll leave all the links in the description below. Hope you found this episode very valuable. And remember, don't ignore the psychology. The technicals are endless. There'll be another strategy next year and some more. But yourself, it's you that's trading that account, not somebody else.